The carport is still here. Even though the rest of the house is destroyed, the carport is still attached. It also is destroyed and the shed. Therefore, we cannot park to moan underneath our camper underneath the carport. So where are we staying? Let me show you. This is the clubhouse at our park. And you can see right over here is the pool area so that's the only nice thing is that we can just walk right through here and go into the pool in the evening so that's the pool area and that's where we're hanging out the next four days. We plan on staying here for about four days and then we should be able to get into Oscar Shear State Park. And we're gonna stay there for a couple weeks and then we're gonna go over to Fort DeSoto, stay at Fort DeSoto. And by that time, the house should be demolished and then we can put the RV back on the lot. The other park that's really close to the state park is Mayaki River and it's completely closed due to wind damage. As you can see here, the house has been destroyed and removed. It's flat and now we can park the RV in our empty lot Why we wait for the new house to be delivered. However, we have no water, we have no electric, and we have no sewer. So we're completely reliant on our solar, which is working perfectly. We're basically boondocking. Yeah, we're boondocking, but on our property. So that's what we have to do until the new house comes. So I just want to give you a little setup of what the house looks like with the, uh, you can see back here, you can see the house is right here. Here's our RV. We have it, this is where we park it. The only drawback to this is there's no place to dump the sewer. We do use the water from the house and the electricity from the house to run the air conditioner now that it's super hot before uh, May. We actually could just use the solar and the camper and run the air conditioner for a couple hours and it cooled it right down. Or our yacht fans cooled it enough. Usually when we have to dump the sewer, we take it to one of the state parks that are close by. Or we go on a little vacation trip to Disney or something. And that's about the time that we need to dump the sewer. However, today we need to move it from here over to there. We're going to move it over to the neighbor's lot. We're going to take it to one of the local state parks, which is... What's it called? Oscar, Oscar Shear. Shear State Park. We've stayed there and we're going to go over, pay for a day's mission and dump the sewer. And then we're going to bring it back and park it here because they're supposed to put the footers in this week. And the cement guy is going to be here and we're not sure what they need around the driveway and we don't want the RV to be in the way. This is the campground at Oscar Shear. Jim and I have stayed here probably about four times since the hurricane. We came and stayed here not too long after the hurricane and we had to evacuate for another hurricane. Hurricane the pool that came through. There's multiple shower houses. So there's two on this side of the campground and then there's like one or two of the other. It is pretty I don't want vegetated, a lot of vegetation at this campground. Give you a quick peek of what this campground looks like. So that it, in case you're here, we've stayed on this lot here. Um, it's lot 36, I think it might be handicap or ADA, but I'm not sure. But it was the only one available right after the hurricane. It was a really nice lot. And as you can see, your neighbors, you don't see them at all. A lot of the lots 
or like that even though you can sort of see them there's so much vegetation in between and all the lots are like this the only uh issue we've ever had staying here is sometimes backing into the lot because there is so much vegetation but this is 36 through 140 something lots and then each one of the shower houses has a, a handicap parking spot if you have someone in your um, group that can't walk down to the shower house there is a place to park There's a large line today for the sewer dump. And the first guy didn't have a hose. So here's the restroom. Let's see. Nice flush. Clean. It's the open air, open fan. This one's got the ADA accessible. And the men's is very same, clean. Jim took a shower in it every single night. Myself, I like to, I like to take a shower in my own house. But Jim comes down because there's not a dump at each site. There's a bunch of, you can't put tents, or RVs. There's a lot of paths to walk. This is one of them. We'll take a look down here and see what it is. Here to just give you a quick tour while we're uh, dumping the sewer. Now, if you're on the other side, there's a there's a little bit of a river on the other side of the campground, on the far side, which we've stayed at. And if your lot bumps up against one of those that's really close, you'll have an alligator sign that says, beware of the alligators. Especially at night, they warn you. But I'll, almost every single state park in Florida, the rangers will warn you about the alligators and critters moving at night just because that's what they do but you can see this is a very nice paved trail that goes around to the amphitheater and has programs here pretty nice little amphitheater to set up for movies and different things. But there are several trails here. And like I said, there's also a lake. It, it's a lake, but it's a very small lake. And I don't know if you can see it that well, but there are three color trails, actually four. There's the yellow, which is a very long trail. It's five miles. You have the red trail, which is a two mile. The green trail, which is three miles, and the blue trail, which is one and a half miles. Inside the park is Lake Osprey. And then if you take the yellow trail, you can go to the big lake and see it. But there's all kinds of trails. There's a couple canoe launches. And this is the bird. I don't know if you can see it there, but that is the scrub jay. And fireworks are not allowed in the state park. Okay. So let me know if you, let us know if you've ever seen a scrub jay. Can you put a bird emoji down in the comment section and send it to us so we can actually see how many have watched at the end of the video. That would be awesome. And if you've ever been to this park. Leave a comment. Did you like it? Did you not like it? 
Thank you. And if you haven't already, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. This is the only negative thing that people comment about this particular campground. The trash dumps station is outside of the campground. So you literally have to walk, ride your bike, or drive out of the campground to this garbage area. It has never bothered Jim and myself because we leave every day to go look at the house or do something at the house. So it's not an issue for us. But if you were in a motorhome that didn't have a means to come out to dump your trash, you would either have to walk it out, bike it out, or wait until you leave. So that's one of the negative comments that we get for this camper. Well, we now have the RV in the neighbor's driveway, as you can see. We are running electricity over to our house and the water. So we're all good. And we'll probably go camping a couple different times, but now we're just waiting for the home to get finished. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And thank you for watching us. Have a blessed day.